morning. Thanks for joining me. I hope everybody's well today. Today we are off to Matalan to have a little look around the shop. Uh, so let's go and see what's new in Matalan. I haven't been in since, might have been in once very briefly with Will for a pair of jeans um, just after they reopened after lock, the last lockdown but haven't been had a good mood for a while so I'm looking forward to it. I always love this little section just inside the door. I think it's sort of a new in type section. That is so pretty. I mean, obviously far too young for me, but just so pretty little sundress, isn't it? I like the whole pink and blue blue vibe of this little area. It's nice. Still lots of bardo tops. And I like that black and white one. 12.50 there. 12.50 for that one as well. But that's pretty, I like this dress. 18 pounds, really like that. That's what it looks like. Oh, I feel I might need to put that in my basket. Although, maybe a bit young, I don't know. Never really been a fan of these shoulder ruffles. They were, I feel like they went out of fashion a bit, didn't they, a couple of years ago. I didn't think they were quite so much of a thing anymore, but I quite like the print on that dress. It's a little sort of smock dress, but yeah, not keen on the shoulder ruffles at all. We've got a big 50% off sale in here. Lots of um, bargainer stuff by the looks of it. Is it me, or has the denim section in metal uh, massively grown? I like this dress, that's really cute. That would look nice with a pair of leggings, wouldn't it? And all this smocking is very much the thing, isn't it, this year? I've seen a lot of this, and I feel like unless you've got a smaller bust than myself, it's not a great look. I'm not a fan of square necklines particularly either, but smocking is definitely a big thing. I don't think I could get away with it. I feel like my bust is too big, and probably too aged as well. <laughs> I always like the idea of joggers as a concept, but the elasticated cuff is just a little bit pyjama-y for me. What do you think? Do you, do you guys like joggers with elasticated ends? I've, I feel like it's just a little bit pyjama -y. I don't know why, just not really my thing. Oh, I like those peach-coloured crops. They're nice. Let's have a look at those. Mm. Yeah, they're nice, lovely colour, £15 as well, that's quite a good price, isn't it? like those. This is really nice in the sale, this blue sort of open front jacket, quite casual long line style with a gathered waist. I love the colour and I like the style as well, down to 15 from 25 Lots of stuff in the sale, lots of shorts and some dresses. Some dresses have they got here. That's a pretty print, that sort of peachy floral one. Got a ditzy print dress there. Similar sort of thing again. I don't like tie necks either, I'm not a tie neck person. But pretty dress. It's down to 10 from 18. There's a little skirt as well, down to 7 from 50 there. And Lots of chino shorts as well, down to six pounds. Oh, I like those as well. Not my style particularly, too short for me. But down from ten to five, they're really nice. Then. Look at this print, isn't this pretty? This is down in the sale from 18 to 11, I think. It's what was on one of the others, I've just checked. But that print is so pretty, it's just like a midi sort of tea dress. Gathered there, sort of empire line. It's really pretty. I would be buying this if they had it in my size, but sadly they don't. That's so pretty. I love a stripe. That's a really nice stripe. Just a sort of maxi sundress type of thing. Sort of cottony fabric, probably viscose, but I really like the colours and the sort of summery vibe of that. It reminds me of deck chairs. Really cute. You've got some nice stuff in here. Right, let's go and have a look at handbags and accessories. I feel like there's a slight lack of stock going on in some of these shelves. Lots of winter scarves that turn 50% off.
Oh, nothing exciting me very much in the handbag department. I like that plant, but yeah, nothing really finding very enthralling in here, I have to say. I feel like the handbag department has shrunk as well. Feels very much like leftovers, really. Quite like that grey one up in the display at the top there. But that's nowhere to be seen in the main display. Disappointing. I always think Rashlau accessories are quite nice, but pricey. I've always thought they were pricey. All the hair clips and hair bands and jewellery as well in here, I thought was pricey. For what it is, you know, not pricey pricey, but not particularly good value for money, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Quite like these gold earrings though. Obviously not real gold, but they're quite pretty, just the little circles on the end. And those ones, they're rather chic, aren't they? Black ones. Shoes, they've got, I feel like they've got quite a lot of the same stock that they had last year for shoes, which wouldn't really be surprising, would it, I guess, because the lack of summer holidays last year and the lack of summer holidays this year probably has a bearing. Oh, I like those. They look so much more expensive than £14, don't they? I love that flare heel and the snakeskin effect. £14, that's an absolute bargain. I really don't need a pair of shoes, but those are very nice. I like them a lot. Quite a big section of shoes at 50% off as well. Those look quite comfortable, don't they? Oh God, sorry, that was my basket. Um, yeah, they look very comfortable. Those are so cute, aren't they? Those little jersey play suits, the strapless ones. They're only eight pounds, such a bargain in all different colors. They are so nice to throw on over a swimsuit on holiday. And even on holiday, someone of my age could get away with something like that, just around the pool or on the beach. These are rather nice as well with the um, fake wooden heel. I like those. They're sort of hessian type fabric. They're down to seven pounds. Very nice. Not The heel's not too big either, you know? Quite nice size. Lots of flip-flops on £2.50 upwards. Got all the colours of the rainbow flip. Not quite all the colours of the rainbow, but quite a lot of colours of the rainbow. And um, boots, 50% off as well. Those are quite nice. I like those. 22 down to 11. It's not bad, is it? Wow. That's like, like something my 16 year old niece would wear. They actually feel really soft and comfy. But this, the concept of a furry sandal is a little lost on me. Surely sandals are for warm weather rather than for the time of year when you, I mean, the wrong time of year to be wanting fur around your feet, isn't it, really, is what I'm trying to say, really. I talked quite a lot about um, Matalan bras last year. I tried some Matalan bras and was quite impressed with them. However, the Primark ones have really taken over my impressness from the Matalan ones, but they do have a good selection in here and they go up to good sizes as well. I feel like the um, cheaper end chain stores are getting better. Look at how pretty that is. Oh God, that's my basket again. Three pack of bralettes, you say, for 12 pounds. That's nice, isn't it? Um, yeah, I feel like the chain stores are getting better at providing bigger sizes as well as the smaller sizes and are more realistic in their sizing for bras these days than they used to be, I think. Those look nice slippers, don't they? Right, and then the grey, the furry ones. Very nice. Oh, pyjamas. Look at those pink um, leopard ones. So that's some... Um, like a jersey fabric, very soft jersey fabric, 14 pounds for those. I like those, and I actually really like the um, palm leaf ones next to them as well. They're really pretty. Good value, 14 pounds for the set. I've just seen some more that I like. Oh, I think the pajamas are my favorite. Look at those little shorty ones with the palm leaves. Love those, really cute. Pajamas in the sale, little 
navy daisy print ones down to seven pounds and twelve fifty. Right, let's go have a look at the homeware. A huge selection of beach towels. Guess they're having trouble getting rid of those this year. <laughs> Again, not many holidays. Oh, I like the watermelon stuff. Look at that. Oh, that's really cute. That's fab for a garden party. I weirdly love this weirdly shaped melamine plate that is eight pounds with a shark on it. Shark? Dolphin? Maybe it's a dolphin, I don't know. But I kind of like it. I don't know why, it's quite odd really. <laughs> this one's definitely a whale. God, that's heavy. Is that like a planter? I'm not entirely sure what that's supposed to be. It's £22 anyway. Lots of sort of fairly brightly coloured homewares. Very quite a quite a sort of tropical homey vibe for the summer, I guess. Quite like that pink blanket with the palm trees on. That's pretty. Oh, I love the rainbow cushion. That would be fun outside, wouldn't it? On them. Um, Sort of outdoor furniture. The cushion department's looking quite neutral, not so much at that end, but this end there's quite a big neutral section. And neutral's going to be the in thing, the next in thing, possibly. Another bit of grey and taupe and all of that sort of thing. Candles, we better just whiz past those so I'm not in persuaded to buy any. And lots and lots of fake plants. Fetch kisses, Stacey Solomon calls them, bless her. Um, I feel like a lot of the homeware is um, stuff that I've seen before. It doesn't feel like there's a whole new, there's a few summary bits, but overall it feels like. Um, there's a lot of it that's been here for a while, but again, it's unsurprising after lockdown, isn't it? You can't sell stuff from a shop that's closed, can you? Oh, I like the um, timers. Oh. oh, okay, you take them out and turn them over. Right, I see. I don't know what I do with a giant sand, um, egg, ti egg timer, sand timer, egg timer. I feel like, feel like there's a word for it that I'm not saying, but yeah, obviously a lot of people felt the same because they're down to seven pounds in the sale, but quite a nice sort of decorative piece for the right place, I would think. I like the hanging rattan baskets as well, they're pretty. And I love that green and gold palm tree cushion. That's so nice. I like the idea of these um, shelves as well. Um, not the best made, but I like the idea of how they look, or are suppose, supposed to look. But um, yeah, nice. Oh, I love a nice mug display. One of my favourite ever mugs came from Matalan. The one with the gold polka dots and the sea in gold, but don't love any of those today. None of those are calling to be popped into my basket at all. I like these table mats. They've got a sort of all a Keeley vibe about them. Or Keeley, Kylie, Keeley, I don't know. But you know the person, I mean. Got that sort of vibe about them somehow. Six pounds and then two fifty for the set of coasters. I think there's four in there. I love the idea of the glass food storage with the wooden lids. Much more sustainable than Tupperware or plastic. Um, yeah, just for it. can you just imagine inside my head? My fit fridge is a vision of organisation with these stacked up inside it, full of delicious food. The reality of my fridge is it's absolutely full of stuff that people have just shoved into it, willy-nilly. 
but inside my head when I see that sort of thing that's what my fridge is going to look like but probably not love at this bee thing Marks and Spencer's do a bee range as well don't they very nice like that very much I'm having a bee moment this year Well, I couldn't tell you the last time I came out of Matalan having bought absolutely nothing, but that was the case today. Um, there were two dresses that I would have bought and a top to the two pink dresses. One I showed you quite near the beginning and one was in the sale. Neither of them were available in my size, sadly. I did pick up a size down, but holding it up against me wouldn't have fitted. It would have been a grave disappointment. <laughs> But um, I'm going to go and have a look and see if they have them online. Overall, I felt like stock levels were not great. However, it's unsurprising, isn't it? With lockdown and with the summer sale going on, I guess it's that sort of flux period in between seasons type of thing for stores. Um, but yeah, I, I quite enjoyed my little mooch round. They had some nice bits and pieces. I felt like there wasn't as much in homeware that I really liked as there had been before. Um, and a lot of the stuff I think I said was still there from before. Again, unsurprising. But yeah, a tri shopping trip without buying anything. I guess that's um, savings in a way isn't that anyway i hope you enjoyed that little wander around matalan with me um let me know i think i'm going to try and go back to doing these once a month now that restrictions are lifting more um i think so let me know if there's anywhere you'd like me to go and um do a little wander around of um what's available and um yeah yeah sorry lots of erming going on here let me know if there's any shops you'd like me to go and wander around and do a little shop with me and um yeah, I'll speak to you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.